Pro Tools 2021.6 just released. Now, all this information is coming from Pro Tools Expert. So what do we have? M1 support, HDX hybrid, and more. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to look at some of the things that you might be interested in. M1 support Visa Rosetta. Now, if you have a Mac, we all know that they made the switch from Intel to this new ARM processor, right? The M1. I believe that's what it's called. Now, I do have a Mac. I have an Intel Mac. And I really don't use it as much, only for my DJ setup, but that's a different story. Now, in the past, we've seen this happen before from the Motorola, the PPC chips. They went over from that to Intel, and Rosetta was a big part of that because that's going to allow you to use some of those old applications on the new CPU. And that's what's happening here. So if you are a Mac user and you have one of these new systems, give this a try. If we scroll down, we have some improvements to the color palette. Now, personally, I haven't upgraded yet, but believe me, I definitely will. This looks pretty awesome if you ask me. I can't wait to get my hands on this and give this a try. So we're going to scroll down. There's a lot of information here that I will link in the description. Now we're going to get to something that's really important. Automatic delay compensation on sidechain. It's 2021 and we're still talking about automatic delay compensation. I remember when it was a huge topic in the LE days. Here we are again talking about delay compensation, this time on sidechain. So it looks like now it's available. So that is pretty awesome. Another thing I would love to see is the ability to have multiple inputs on that sidechain. That's a different video. Also, track counts for ultimate and standard version. Now, for some of you guys, this probably won't matter. I receive a lot of two track sessions and trust me, Track counts have increased, even with two track sessions. You know, not that long ago, I worked on a two track session that was large enough that an LE system wouldn't be able to open it with alternate takes and sound effects, you name it. That session had it. Doesn't mean we used everything, but it had a lot of tracks for a two track uh, session. So let's uh, run by this really quick. If you're a Pro Tools first, we're looking at. The first section here, which is IO4 for Pro Tools first, Pro Tools uh, standard, which is 64, the vanilla version, and the ultimate version, 64, non HDX, 192, HDX hybrid engine, and HDX classic. Now, audio tracks, Pro Tools first, 16, which I think is great uh, for Pro Tools users, vanilla version, 256 mono slash stereo tracks, and for Pro Tools ultimate, that's 2048, mono, 1024, stereo. Then we go on to the whole surround sound thing. Again, all of that information is going to be here. Uh, regarding voices, if you don't have the ultimate version, this doesn't matter. Ultimate version, 2048. And we have some video engine and bounce mix window improvements, which you can read right here. Just a reminder, all of this will be in the description and avid link update. Again, nothing that I'm going to talk about. There's more information here. So first of all, I want to thank Pro Tools Expert for the information. So guys, remember, just go over to your Avid account and download your Pro Tools uh, 2021.6. And like always, image your drive, regardless if you're on Windows or Mac. For some reason, I was going to say Linux. I forgot it isn't a thing I wish it was.